Buying a home, John Barron's. Most of us will be involved in buying a home at some point in their life. Here's important information from a full-time realtor. I'll talk you through the process of choosing a realtor, choosing a property, and getting the deal closed. As a full-time agent, I've provided service to many clients each year since I began as a full-time realtor in 2006. Almost all of us will purchase a home and some, at some point in our lives. Purchasing your home involves three main steps. Choosing an agent, choosing a property, and, closing, and the closing steps. I've been involved in many transactions since I began my career, some simple and straightforward and many more complicated. Choosing the agent you work with is your most important step. As a realtor, I have helped many clients through the process of buying their homes, the first of which is choosing a professional agent to work with. This choice should be guided by the same, pr same principles you use in picking any other professional. First, it should be someone you trust and know their qualifications. By choosing a competent, knowledgeable, and reliable agent, the process can be stress-free and gratifying. In evaluating agents to work with, you should ask or find out, is the agent a realtor? There is a difference between someone who is a real estate agent and one who is a realtor, a trademark. National, Associate of, National Association of Realtors is a group that requires its members to adhere to a code of ethics above what the state requires and provides additional benefits to its agents and their clients. Is the agent licensed in the state of Missouri in a good standing? You can check on the Missouri Division of Professional Registration website. Make sure the agent has access to the multiple listing service for the area you are looking. Usually this requires being a realtor. Are they a full-time agent? Full-time agents can devote the time you require without other commitments getting in the way. Does the agent hold any designations? This can include being an ABR, accredited buyer's represent representative, or a GRI, a graduate of the Realtor Institute, or any of a number of other specialty designations. Who is the agent representing? Make sure the agent is representing you as a buyer's agent. This involves having a signed buyer's agency similar to a listing contract, guaranteeing you representation. The agent should choose, you choose should be based on their qualifications and reputation, not by being a relation, friends, or the biggest ad in the newspaper. You wouldn't choose a doctor or attorney that way. When choosing a realtor, make sure you are basing that choice on the same standards you would choose other professionals to represent you. Then you are ready to move on to choosing a property. Choosing a property is your next step. Choosing a property must be balanced between the needs of the heart, brain, and pocketbook. Choosing a property involves much more than a pretty house. Size needs, location needs, and financials must be considered. You, your agent, and your lender must work together to determine your buying power, both in terms of what you can afford and what you want to afford. Your agent can help you select the lender and the type of loan that best serves you. Your agent can assist you by setting up specific internet searches for properties that may suit you using many tools they have available. These will alert you in a timely fashion of properties as they come available on the market. This will give you a head start on those searching for homes on their own. The agent you select will provide resources for information on the specifics of the property you are interested in, such as zoning, schools, crime rates, or the local community. They can also provide information on the potential resale value of the home. Your agent can help with the negotiation process by providing current and past sales statistics to accurately reflect what your offer should be. This offer in negotiation will include more than just price. Time frames, inclusions, and conditions are also very important. When deciding which property to make an offer on, it is also important not to let that property be your all-encompassing only choice. Getting the deal closed can be the most challenging part of the purchasing process. Many obstacles can surface. The closing process involves financing, inspections, surveys, title searches, and other details. Your agent can provide you, can guide you through the closing process and make sure everything flows together smoothly.
after an agreement is reached in the sales contract and the offer is accepted. There are several conditions or contingencies to satisfy before closing. The lender you have chosen will determine both your credit worthiness and the value of the property through appraisal. You will hire an inspector or inspectors who evaluate the home for many items, including electrical systems, heating and air conditioning systems, water and sewer, roof condition, and a general inspection. Other inspections may include radon gas and termites. These conditions will be noted in an illustrated report, at which time you and your agent can negotiate any repairs you deem necessary, or you have the option of canceling the sales contract. You will get a quote from the insurance agent of your choice to make sure the property is insurable and at a price you can afford. The title company will perform a title search to ensure there are no unforeseen liens on the property that would not be removed at closing. They will also provide title insurance in case any come up in the future. You can elect to have a survey conducted that will ensure that the property lines are where they are described and all structures are on said property. Assembling the correct professionals for the closing portion is of vital importance. Competent title companies, lenders, and inspectors can make the final process go much smoother. In choosing correctly and paying attention to the details, the process can be managed correctly and with the least amount of stress. Purchasing a home is the most expensive purchase most of us will make, but can be the most rewarding. This is not only a house where you will live, but the home where memories will be made with your family and friends. Work cited. The Complete Idiot's Guide to Success as a Real Estate Agent, 2003, Marilyn Sullivan, Real Estate Practice, 16th edition, 2003, by Fillmore W. Gallaty, Walmore, Wellington J. Alloway, Robert C. Kyle, and an overview of the home buying and selling process, 2013, by the St. Louis Association of Realtors, and also on the website, www.realtor.com forward slash real estate agents.